How's it going everybody, it's Sean here, back today to give you guys a review of the Comme des Garcons collaboration with Nike on the Air Foam Posit 1 in both the black and the white colorways. Today's video is sponsored by the good people from Heflux. Heflux is my all-time favorite sneaker insoles and they sell ETPU insoles which essentially is the same material used for Adidas Boost. So if you're looking to add some additional comfort for your shoes, be sure to check out their website which is linked down below in the description box and you'll see they sell four different insole options. So really depending on the type of insole density and cushioning setup you're looking for, whether that's for a pair of boots or for sneakers, there's gonna be something for everybody. So I've been a proud paying customer of Heflux for years now and I honestly stand by their products. They truly do add a ton of comfort to your shoes. So if you're looking to save 15% off your entire purchase, be sure to use the code SEANGO at checkout. So this is a collaboration between Japanese fashion label Comme de Garçons with Nike. And they released on November 5th for a very staggering 520 US dollars, which is the equivalent to roughly 660 Canadian. And both this white pair and the black pair released together, with the official colorway of this white pair being Summit White, and for the black pair, Black, White and Black. So in terms of the packaging, so nothing special about this pair at all. This comes in the standard black base cardboard box. We have Nike printed on the top and the sides of the box in this glossy finish. And there's no visible Comme de Garçon branding at all on the box. So the Nike Air Foam Posit 1 released back in 1997. And not only back then, but even to this day, the manufacturing process is one of the most complex and the most unique in Nike's catalog. So the original Foam Posit 1, which was worn famously by NBA star Penny Hardaway, was inspired by a beetle. And the unique thing about this shoe is the outer shell of the sneaker. This is actually constructed out of liquid polyurethane, which is then molded and then dried into the shape that you see today. And what makes this shoe so complex and so expensive is that for every size within the shoe, Nike has to make custom molds, which I can't tell you the exact price of the mold, but safe to say it's very, very expensive. So that's part of the reason why I think this collaboration was so pricey because this is the first time that the Foam Posit 1 has been given a redesigned upper, meaning Nike had to go create custom molds for every single size in the shoe that they offered. So that doesn't make the 520 US dollars that much easier to swallow, but that's a possibility why the price is so high. So as you look at this Foam Posit upper, you can see that the mold of the shoe almost looks like crop circles. So we have the smaller radial pattern on the sides of the forefoot and this larger circular one on the back heel and then the two sides meet and are stitched together down the center of the back heel. Right above this, we have Comme de Garçon branding, which is done in white text on the black pair and black text on the white pair. And we have this heel pull tab as well. Running down the center of the shoe where the eyelets are, this is constructed out of synthetic leather in this tonal fashion, matching the color of the rest of the shoe. And we have a mini swoosh, which is embroidered on the lateral side, both the white pair and the black pair done in this white colored finish. For the laces, so these come with these oval shaped laces, which again is done in this tonal fashion, matching the rest of the color of the shoe. But they come with these plastic lace tips, which is a nice added touch. Underneath the shoe, we have the tongue, which for the most part is constructed out of mesh. And we have this strip of synthetic leather running down the center of the tongue. Towards the top, we have this air branding, and we have another pull tab similar to the back heel, this one on top of the tongue. For the insoles, so these come with a foam padded insole, and we have Comme de Garçon and Nike co-branding stamped on the heel. So the upper of the foam posit sits atop this full length zoom air unit, along with this double stacked secondary zoom air unit underneath the heel. Turning the shoe over to the bottom, so the outsole here is done in this rubber finish in the same tonal fashion. We have this herringbone style traction pattern that runs from heel to toe, along with Penny Hardaway's one cent logo on the heel. And underneath this, we have a full length carbon fiber shank plate, which kind of acts as a springboard for that zoom air in the midsole, and also helps with torsional rigidity and midfoot support. So that's pretty much all there is from a look and construction standpoint. And for those wondering how these fit, so I'm a true size 10, slightly on the wider side. And for the Air Foam Posit 1, personal preference, but I prefer to go a half size up for a 10 and a half. However, I feel like for most people, especially if you have narrow, normal, or slightly wide feet, you can stick true to size, no problems. But if you have really wide feet, definitely go up a half size. The thing with the foam posit material though is it's very stiff right out of the box, but over time with wear, it's supposed to mold to your feet. However, for someone like me that has so many pairs of shoes in my collection, realistically, I'm not gonna wear this shoe that often, so I'm not really gonna have the chance to have it mold to my feet. And because my feet are a little bit wider, I don't wanna deal with any potential pain that I'm gonna feel during the supposed break-in period. So that's why I opt to go half size up. But there is a little bit extra room from a length perspective than I ideally would like, but that's a sacrifice I personally make so that I don't have to deal with any pain from a width perspective. Moving on to comfort, so the Foam Posit 1, other than the stiffness on the outer shell, it's actually a pretty responsive and comfortable shoe. 
Like I said earlier, there's a full length zoom air unit and double stack zoom on the heel, and you can really feel that underfoot. However, these are tanks, they are very heavy on foot, which makes them ideally good in maybe the winter season. But if you're looking for something airy and very lightweight, this is probably the worst shoe that you could choose. And finally, from an overall quality and craftsmanship standpoint, Overall, this pair was okay. Since the majority of the shoe is made out of foam posit material, it's really hard to measure this from a quality standpoint of materials, but the leather they used to cover the eyelets felt very synthetic, and the overall construction of this shoe, while there were no major flaws, there were some dried glue throughout the upper, and it had that typical oily feel that a lot of foam posits have. So if you thought because this is a Comme des Garcons collaboration and you thought this might be a more premium take on the Foam Posit 1, then you might be a little bit disappointed as it pretty much feels like any of your other Foam Posit releases. So with all that out of the way now, let's lace up both the black pair and the white pair and I'll show you guys how both of these look on feet. In terms of final thoughts, so I think that this is a pretty dope collaboration. I honestly like how they changed the upper of this shoe, and while it's very simplistic in that it's pretty much all white and all black, I think both colorways work for their own reasons. This white pair, I like how it shows off the details of the foam posit upper a bit better, and white in general is just more of my taste. It's a very clean, simple look. But also this black pair I think is very good in its own right. For obvious reasons, it's not going to get as dirty as quickly as the white pair. And I think you can pair this black pair with a lot of different outfits, giving you a very understated but still very stylish look. However, the price point for both of these pairs is absolutely ridiculous. 520 US dollars is just absurd. That's more than paying resale for a lot of really dope pairs out in the market right now. But I think if financially it makes sense for you, and you're someone that appreciates the foam posit one silhouette, then I don't think you can go wrong with picking up either this white pair or the black pair. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about this Comme de Garçon Nike Air Foam Posit 1 in both this white and black colorways. Between the two, which one do you guys prefer? And for anyone watching, let me know down below in the comment section if you guys pick these up. If you guys like this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. You can follow me on Instagram at sgo8, check me out on Twitter at sean.go, and visit my website at seangoca So until next time, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this review and hopefully it helped you in some way. And I'll catch you guys all in the next one.